Welcome back, everybody, to Inscriptions. This is the second episode. Uh, I highly recommend going back to the first episode if you missed that, because this game does have spoilers. But, yeah, this game's really cool, so we're going to just jump straight back into it. Here we go, another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Okay. So he's got a rattler. So let's place a squirrel. Whoops. Let's place a squirrel down here. Sacrifice a squirrel for our stoat. From the death of your creature, you gained a bone. So my bones are over here. You will not lose it until it is spent or the battle ends. Okay. So let's end. I can't really do anything else unless I want to use my squirrel in a bottle. Ooh, taking three damage is pretty bad. Uh, so let's draw a... Hmm. Let's draw a card. Okay, so I can... I'm going to use my squirrel in a bottle. I'm going to sacrifice my squirrel for a bullfrog. And now I can place my opossum, too. Okay. Nice damage. Okay, place the rattler. That's not good. Um, we'll just pass our turn, basically. He is going to kill my stoat. All right, so now let's play our wolf, which does a good amount of damage. Kill his rattler, too, because why not? Nice. All right, so we've got a pretty straightforward path. Oh. I forgot your fi figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Okay. It's beside the safe. Okay, so let's go over there. Okay, this has a squirrel and an elk fawn now. That was empty before. All right, cool. Yeah, the safe doesn't really... I don't know. I don't know if combo to that. Um... All right. I'm trying to think of anything I can do right now. All right, we'll just go back. Let us continue. All right, fair enough. All right, choose a card. Cost four bones. That's a lot. See, this costs six bones, but doing three damage in a single turn is pretty good. It returns your hand after dying. I like that a lot. It does cost four bones, though. So I can get up whenever the map is unfolded. Alright, so let's get a black goat. Because when I sacrifice it, I get three blood. Which is pretty useful in tight situations. Uh, we've used the pliers. I think I'll just get another one of these. Are you smart or something? Usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. All right, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Okay. Past victim wrote... Bad play. That actually was kind of bad. So they wrote in the rule book. Sorry, Stoke. I don't want you to be hurt. Okay, so let's draw a squirrel. And he's going to kill the coyote, so that's fine. I'll just, I'll just pass my turn. Okay, we're still fine. Play a squirrel, play a squirrel, play the wolf. Now I can play my opossum too. All right, awesome. Good turn. He's not doing anything, which is perfect. So we'll just keep... Stacking him. We'll stack him again. Nice. If you desire it, you may stand now. It will it will allow me to time to plan. Okay. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Oh, I've been touching all of your possessions. They're all mine. 
Oh, here's where that is. Mighty Leap, 273. Yeah. All right. Squirrel and Elk Fawn. Two. Oh. Seven. Three. Hello, card. Oh, your talking card. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape. That iron crypt. Is this dote around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. Oh, he's angry. So I touched your possessions. Do you care? No, he does, I mean, he doesn't seem to care. He has a key, and this is the only thing with a lock on it. So, is that... Yeah. Okay. It looks like a board. And there's one on the right too. Yeah, these have symbols. Yeah, these are the symbols of the game. Like airborne. Zero out of five still zero out of five can't move that one i move this one one out of five so that changed something moving that down here now my two out of five is this one doing anything i'll come back to that i'll come back to that let's let's continue i'll come back to that that looks like the game board. Hat Master, there I am. Now, the little thing on the board next to me has an elk fawn on it and a squirrel, and I think I should play those, but Hat Master kind of OP. Um, let's go do this. I might be able to super buff something. What can I sacrifice? The choice is yours. Oh, I could sacrifice the cockroach. Because whenever it dies, it gets put in my hand. Actually, any of these would be kind of good. Let's just do it on this guy. Cost two, though. That's a good card. It costs two, but it's a good card. Alright, let's keep going. You again. Indeed. Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. <laughs> you got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay. So there's another talking card. Another friend. Pretty standard start every time I do this. Yep. Yep. You didn't say bad play. Um, so let's draw. Let's just draw a squirrel. Okay, you're kind of doing a lot of damage to me, my dude. I right, play squirrel, squirrel. Now we play hat master. Boom. It's actually a really good spot for him, too, because now he can't be attacked. Did I just win? He does 8 damage. Yeah. OP, OP. Now let's go to over here. It's Trapper, right? Yep. The most exquisite pelts. How many do I have? First one's free. Let's get the golden one. Golden one's hype. Uh, I don't really... Yeah, I just want the golden one. Um, so I get supplies. I'm already full on supplies. I could do buff a card again, or I could buff a card this way. Uh, let's buff a card this way. Warm a creature by the fire. Enhance its health, said a hungry survivor. Stop this. Oh, yeah, the docking guards don't like this. Uh, I'm gonna buff the health of Hatmaster. Nothing bad has happened yet. The fire warmed the wary Hatmaster. Enhance its health. 
You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your hat master in tow, you re retreated into the woods. Okay. Alright, so now I've got... Alright, so we can play a bullfrog. He's playing a coyote. I'll play a bull bullfrog to block. Okay, maybe that was bad. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use one of these. And then I'm gonna use one of these. Boom. Okay. I'm gonna place my pelt. The pelt doesn't do anything, but it does block. Oh, wow. That's so much damage. What does the alpha do? Wait, what does the alpha do? Creatures adjacent to a card bearing this sigil gain one power. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm going to block that. I think, yeah, we just win. We just do eight damage. Hammer OP. Mole. Block. So it moves to block attackers. All right. Attacks directly to the sky and red river snapper. Uh... I will get the Ripper Snapper. I guess. I don't know. Oh, we can buff something again? We have not food, one said. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us. Enhance its health, said another. <laughs> nope. I feel like I kind of want to do it with one of the talking cards to see their reaction, but... What if I just... What if I just buff Hat Master again? The fire warmed the wary's hat master enhanced its health. You suspected the intention of the survivors were less than pure. With your hat master in tow, you retreated into woods. Yeah, nothing bad has happened. I don't know. I don't know if something bad can happen there. Oh, it's boss time. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Oh, okay. So I do get to live. Like, I, I get one life. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. The Prospector. Alright. Prospector boss? Again. You gave me a hint last time, the stoat, about the pack meal. Alright, well, I'm gonna play the smoke, because I guess it's free. It's a 01. And when it dies, I get four bones? That's gonna hype. Okay, well, let's place our stow over here. I kind of hate it when I have boulders and stuff. I don't like that. I don't like that they block my board. Okay, I can't really do anything, so we'll just chill. Okay. Uh, so strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. What's the flash? The flash? Okay. Uh, oh, wait. I don't have anything to sacrifice. Ooh. I could use... I might as well use this. This is a boss battle. If I'm going to use this at any point, it should be now. Okay. Um, rabbit pelt? Oh, that is not useful. Alright, let's just chill. I don't do any damage. Alright, I can block the rat. I can block with the rabbit pelt at least. The health is even. Okay, I can place my opossum now, but he only does one damage. What about the stink bug? I only do one damage too back in the game he also has the he also lowers the wolf's power by one so that's good okay they're gonna die i think this is the first time a talking card dies right i don't remember well <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry stink bug okay uh i gotta use the wrench okay 
I'm gonna use this to block over here. I need to draw one more. I put my smoke in a really bad spot. So my smoke, when it dies, it gives me bones, but the pack mill doesn't do damage, so they're just kind of stuck. It's just bad. That's just how it is, I guess. Oh, I think this is it. I don't have anything. Oh, I drew Hat Master. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. All right. More gold for me. Oh, the hands, the hands. I, I, just, I love the theme of this game. It's so, so creepy and cool. Reminds me of Don't Starve almost. I absolutely love Don't, Don't Starve. Hello. Stay there. No need to move. I'm afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Where did I put that camera of mine? <gasps> oh. Pathetic. He said, I skipped that. Like, so he said, pathetic. Did you really think something? Do you have n any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. You have a memento to create. Behold your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Uh, oh, can I just do straight up free? The cost of free from the golden pell. A. Another. This time I will use its power and health. Well, I guess a 1 6 is pretty good. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. From the bullfrog. Okay, so a 1 6 that can leap up. Uh, what do we, what do, what do we name this? Um. Let's name it YouTube Frog. <laughs> I must capture your visage. Uh oh. Say cheese. And I'm dead and now captured in the cards. Now I've died twice. Yo, that's a flash. I wonder if that's what the stink bug was talking about. Because, I mean, if I'm becoming cards, then I guess that's what happened to the stink bug and the stoat. Because the, the stink bug said they saw a flash, right? And that's what happened to them? Another challenger. Do I, did I tell you the tale of the one who came before you? They fell to a mad prospector. Oh, yeah, that was me. I remember it well. Nothing comes between that man and his gold. Seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. Okay. So I can get... So, I mean, those are just my cards straight up. Have we done this one yet? Have we gone down this path? You may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must decide on a tribe you prefer. Okay. So we've got wolf, bird, and I don't really know what this is, actually. Oh, I guess it's a reptile. Yeah, a randomly chosen reptile card. I'm okay with that. So I'm actually going to get up real quick and see what I can do. Oh. Alright, well that's useless right now. Squirrel ringworm. Okay. Um Should I try this thing again? One oh it's different. They changed it. Oh I got four. Okay, so hold on. And that's two out of five. I think it's how much damage you deal, because if you think of this like a board, and this is his side, and this is my side, I'm dealing two, three, four damage. So if I move this guy down, five damage, let's go. Skink. I forgot that I had put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. Okay. I didn't read what it does, but I'm okay with that. Two out of five. This one looks the same as last time. Um... 
So I can't move this one though. I can move that one up. So why is that only two out of five? Because I'm dealing one, four, five. I forget what that symbol means. I think it has to do something with that symbol. Oh, that did not make sense to me. Nope, that didn't make sense to me. I don't I don't know why that worked. An ant and a queen. Okay. Oh. More pu I mean I'm on a roll, might as well do them right. They have an at symbol now. I don't know what that means. That's four? But what's this? That's zero? What? Okay. I don't understand, Mr. Mr. Dude Man. Oh, I got it. I kind of get it, but I don't. Cage Wolf. Curious. Wait. There's a Cage Wolf right here. Okay. I don't know what that means. Okay, so this Mantis is dealing one over here, one over here. This is dealing one over here, one over here. Can I do that? That only counts as three. Okay. Well, what if I move that one back? And that's three? What? I, I don't get it. I, I genuinely don't get it. <laughs> okay. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you'll understand its power. Okay. Um, yeah, so maybe it's, let me look at this real quick. So it's one, is it damage in total? Like I deal five damage to him and then he deals five damage to me. Cause he's only dealing one damage to me in this. I don't know what that symbol means or this symbol. I don't know. I did it. That's all that matters. Right. I don't know. Okay. Oh. I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. Oh, I got the smoke. So I guess if this candle's under this thing? Oh. Okay. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out in intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them grotesquely. Did I read that right? Choose. A card bearing this sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. A card bearing this sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn, and while submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. And Mighty Leap, which we already know. Uh, let's try Waterborne. <laughs> Wait. My first totem was complete. The waterboard sigil will be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. That's not good. That's <laughs> that's so useless. That's actually so bad. That doesn't do anything. Oh my god. Yeah, thank you. Um, so he has leap. Okay, and I have a worker ant. What do you do? The value repressed with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Oh, that makes sense. When this card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Oh, I love that. That's hype. That's so cool. All right. So I have one ant. But if I get four ants, they're going to do tons of damage. Okay, so let's get a squirrel. Let's put a bullfrog. Bullfrog counters these sp sparrows. I need another two squirrels. So now my ants get stronger. Power numbers, the ants greed. If anything, I can play this ant right now if I sacrifice the bullfrog. Yeah, now they're all, th they have three damage. That's awesome.
since we're going ants, ants are insects, right? So. Oh. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. Okay. It's a 1-2. That's not great, but I mean, it's free if it happens that way. The bones of an ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Uh, so I can go with Airborne, Bird, or a card bearing the sigils count as three blood rather than one. Can I put this on the squirrels? Is that how that works? It's so like, these are what I own. So if I go this, this, ooh. Yeah, now my squirrels are worth three. That's hype. All right, goodbye, old woman. That caged wolf. He hid that for a reason. The card seems useless, but I think there's more to it. Okay, well, can I get the caged wolf out? I'd be so down. Oh, I can't do anything. That was dumb of me. Okay, I, I guess I have to use this, otherwise I'm going to waste my squirrel. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't dumb of me, because I can sacrifice for two or for three blood. That's right, and I can play my stink bug. Good play. Oh, thank you, beetle. So much nicer than the stoat. Actually, one shot. Insane. Okay. Worker ant. Oh, we've, we've got lots of ants, so I, I like that. A card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Let's just go with the ant, man. We got the, the ant deck. Uh... Let's go this way. I forgot what symbol that is. I think it's the totems. I already have a good totem. We have not food, one said. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us and enhance its health, said another. <laughs> yeah, the talking cards really don't like that. Well, let's enhance the health of an ant. Yeah. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made an... Hasty retreat with your worker ant. Yeah, no, nothing bad has happened yet. The dialogue makes me feel like something bad is gonna happen out of fire, but there's yet to happen. Okay, so what we could do is I can play my squirrel. So I don't think it's like magic where if I sacrifice a squirrel for three blood, I can play the ant queen and the worker ant. I think it's, I can only play one. So I'm gonna do that. So now, if it carried over, I would be able to play a worker ant. Yeah, and I can't. I'd have to sacrifice again, which is not good. Also, my corpse maggot didn't play, so I guess it doesn't work with sacrificing. Okay, end turn. All right, let's get one of these. Sacrifice the squirrel for an ant. Sacrifice another squirrel for an ant. Kind of, I mean, I guess my squirrel totem's not good because I'm playing cheap cards, but that's okay. And we won. Nice. Strength in numbers. Um, I don't, Have I gone this way yet? I don't know. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. I think three because of my totem. Grizzly? Oh, that's good. What were you expecting? I mean, something good. So I got something good. And play that turn one. That's OP. That's insane. Okay, so I can choose wolves. Moving. Yeah, moving. Or elk. I actually don't want any of these. So I guess I'll just get the wolf head. And I'm just going to make the same totem. Yeah, give me that. All right, Prospector, we meet again. The smoke, it is great indeed. A chill must miss closed in around you. You were not alone. 
a figure emerged from the fog. Stand in the way of me, gold. All right. I got the smoke, though. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, what does Skink do? What do you do? When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. All right. Well, how about we play a squirrel? We sacrifice a squirrel for a wolf. Uh, I guess here. I play the greater smoke. I sacrifice a greater smoke for a skink. Wait, did he say something? I didn't see that. Uh, I could afford to play my corpse maggot. Yeah, why not? I didn't use its. I haven't used its passive once. Oh, did that actually kill? Oh my god. <laughs> that actually took one of his lives on the first turn. Oh, nice turn. You have deep gold. Gross. Okay, so now I, I guess I draw a squirrel because I need at least one squirrel. I can't do anything. I need him to clear my board. Grizzly? Perfect. I have a good build right now. Okay, adder. That's kind of scary. Worker at? Okay, okay. I just win next turn. I win next turn unless he does something insane. No, I, I win. I got him. I got a good build. I got a hype build. Nice. Let me relight your candles. All right. Also, I, I wanted to aim for these episodes to be about 30 minutes, but honestly, I'm just going to let them go long. I think this game's going to take too many episodes on YouTube if I have uh, smaller episodes. So I'm just going to let them go long, and that will be that. You may choose a rare card. All right. The Holy Mantis God, a perfect incarnation of terror. Poor abandoned child that does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? Isn't that just the cat? The cat does the exact same thing, but this one's rare. And it makes me sad, because... Okay. It's not good. The long elk. I have no words for this freak of nature. Where's the art? Is that its neck? Or, I, Okay. It has death touch, or touch of death. <laughs> they, do, they change it to touch of death. Um, Mantis God seems kind of OP, so I'm getting Mantis God. Plus, if I die, I could put Mantis God on something. All right, we continue onward. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chipping of the insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You behold the wetlands. Okay, so let's go. If I go down the middle, I could get another expensive card. Yeah, give me another three. Moose buck. Okay. Some bone tokens for a rainy day. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get this one because if I give all my creatures airborne, I can one shot. Oh, no, you can't use that. What? Nothing will happen. The bottle goo has no use. I'm taking the bottle goo. Give me give me the bottle goo. I, I, I don't care if I can't use it. You do be a bottle of goo. It looks cool. Okay, so I can just literally grizzly turn one. Insane. It's almost enough to win, but I just win now. I think I got a broken combo. I'm pretty sure I got a broken combo. Yeah, I just win now. Boom. Let's see how far we can get. I guess we'll go to left. Maybe I can <laughs> buff my grizzly. That'd be insane. The pelts are clean. Uh, I'll get a golden pelt again. Oh, I can't afford it. All right, I'll get a regular pelt. Why are these different? Oh, because it costs, it's worth two. Okay. All right, I'm fine with that. I feel like if you got too many pelts, they would clog up your deck. So I don't want to do that. 
Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its health, said a hungry survivor. Choose wisely. Nope, nope, nope. Let's let's do the grizzly. The grizzlies are our boy right now. Oh, what about the mantis god, actually? What about the mantis god, though? Now we'll just buff the grizzly. Alright, so same thing. We just run away. I'm going to start skipping through text if we've already pretty much know the vibe of it. Just to save some time. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere. Around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. <laughs> but he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Alright, so I need to find the, the third talking card. Keep me alive, I'll try. What if I sacrifice one of the talking cards? Oh, well, he's gonna die next turn anyways. Uh, he's gonna, you're gonna die next turn anyways to this adder, so I mean. Wow, seriously? Okay. I mean, they, they, they're not God, they're just, you know. What's this dope done for me? You know what I'm saying? The stink bug I like, stink bug's hype. Oh, I'm lucky. At queen. Okay, maybe I should have drawn something else. I can block though with my rabbit pelt. Oh, I didn't need to block that one. Oh no, the adder is killing my mantis god. No. All right, well, let's play the at queen. Okay. Okay, I actually take a decent amount of damage. Play another worker ant. So the maximum power the ants can get is four, because I can only have four on the battlefield at once. Still really good, just, you know. All right, let's kill the alpha, because he's buffing the frog. Is that enough to win? It was, nice. All right, let's go over here. What's this do? You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was a traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I trade you any of these. Take your time. What's this? Bell ringer? <clears throat> it's all blotched out. I don't know what that is, but it looks awesome. There's another one. Card counter. So look at the art. This one has a little bell, and then the power is a bell. This one has little cards. This power is cards. The value represents... I would like one of these cards. I'm going to get the left one. Figure out what they do. Uh, oh, I can get both. Do I want both? I guess I do. See, the thing about these things is I can't choose not to take a card, can I? Yeah, you have to take a card. What's Magpie do? Card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly. Oh. Lame. Oh, wait, there's two symbols. When a card bearing the sigil is played, you may search your deck for any card and take it in your hands. Oh. Oh, wolf pelts too? Exquisite. Oh, so I can get better pelt better cards with this. Ringworm, wait a second. I'm getting the ringworm. These pelts are most excellent, my thanks. And the reason for that was I remember, let's get up. I remember seeing it here. A squirrel ringworm. So if I do that, does something happen? I don't know. That changed every time I... Oh, I haven't gone to mushrooms. What's mushrooms? <laughs> I keep getting distracted. You found yourself amongst a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through a thick cloud of spores. We are the Michael... 
I'm not even going to try to say that. I'm guessing it's a study of mushrooms. Yes. And we are performing our experiments far from, from, we're not welcome elsewhere. We will experience, experiment on your flock, yes. We will need two of the same creatures. One for each of us. They're, I, uh, they look so creepy. Okay. So two work rats. I can't choose not to. Like it did not, does not have an option for that. I think this could get messy. Look away. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, they merged it. That's actually not good. I preferred to have two worker ants considering how ants work. Wow. Wish I could have turned that down. Oh well. Oh no, he has the stinky. He's gonna make my cards less powerful. Greetings. I like the stink bug. The stink bug's hype. So I can play the ma oh, so I have an idea. I play the magpie. Look at this. Play the magpie. I search for my most broken card, which is the grizzly, I guess. Or one of these. I don't know what those do, but let's just do the grizzly. Then I can s to play that grizzly, you'll need to sacrifice three different kinds of creatures. Oh, wait, I can't sacrifice the mutt. Oh, I'm dumb. Never mind, we'll just keep going. I forgot that only squirrels give me three right now. Uh-oh. Okay, well, now I can play it at least. Am I going to die? Oh, no. Oh, I lost one health. Okay, that's fine. I still have another one. I hoped for more. Can I get another expensive card? Expensive cards are really good for me right now. Now the grizzly. Let's go. Now, can I buff my grizzly? Hello. Mantis god? Ooh. Imagine Mantis God on Grizzly. Caged Wolf. I still don't know what Caged Wolf does. It doesn't have power. I assume I need to use the Caged Wolf, but if it doesn't have power, how do I use it effectively? Maybe I just use it just in general. I haven't been drawing it though. The mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank or a rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotten fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. Oh god, go fish. He did not like it when I was here last time. I wonder if it's at this point I can beat him. I'm playing Moosebuck, which is pretty OP. Oh, he's going to steal that. New fish, easy choice. What if I actually get him to steal the skink because of the skink passive? Would that work? Oh, wow. I already got one life. Nice. Go fish. Okay, so uh, this is new. Last time, he just straight up killed me. <laughs> okay. Let's we'll just attack. Great white. Go fish. Oh. That was actually awesome. It just blocked both of those. Um, draw squirrel. Is this my... Okay, no. I am going to place my grizzly over here because I don't want it to die. Oh, did I just win? Is it that... Do... Really? Insane. Insane gaming. You light? I do, actually. Wait, I get my life back? I get both lives back? Is that how that works? Because I, I was down one life. That's awesome. When chimes are struck, what?
A chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power, one health. So it gets stronger when a chime is struck. Huh. Oh, so this is all types of creatures, which would mean it counts as a squirrel, so I could sacrifice it. Or I get a second mantis god. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a second mantis god. It would be another mantis god, because I used my other one. All right, new area. New area, time to get hyped. Let me think. So I have yet to use the ringworm, by the way. You descended to the snow line. Okay. This is new as well. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours, in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. But first you will choose a trial. The trial of kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be akin to pass. Okay, that could be good with my ants. Trial of wis wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. Okay, I do have a lot of sigils. Trial of power. Draw card must have at least four attack power. So I don't think ants count as power. So that would be bad. Although I would only have to draw one grizzly to win that. I think we should go sigils. I have a lot of sigils. The ants count as sigils too, so. The trial of wisdom begin. Bullfrog has one? Oh no, dude, you screwed me over, so. You screwed me over, ah. Uh... All right, let's go do this, because I want to put Mantis God on someone else again. It's insane. Let's, where are you, Mantis God? You're going on an OP card. You're going on my... Still know what that does. On my grizzly. So, so wait, do I have two grizzlies that do this now? I don't remember which card to put on last time. Oh no, elk with the stinky. Oh, I could do it. So, squirrel on the left... Ringworm on the right. Oh, I have to wait a turn. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with this. I want to see what happens. Is it worth dying for? Maybe. Okay, so now I do this. I sacrifice for this. Something definitely happened. Something 100% happened. But do I need to live now? I mean, I don't know. Also, I'm just, we're just going to do it all at once. I don't know. Cage Wolf, do you do anything? I don't know. You look kind of useless. Bullfrog? Can't even sacrifice the Cage Wolf. Wow. It says I can't use the blob, but I'm going to use him. I'm serious. You cannot use that. There's no possible use for it. I'll place it on the shelf over there for now. My advice, avoid it. Okay. All right. Okay, something happened as well. All right, things are ha things are happening. Things are happening. Uh, I guess we're going to play this. I got a wolf though. That actually kind of saved me. Oh, I can play this. I don't know what it does, though. I need to draw a squirrel. Unless I just lost. I just lost. But I have two lives, so I'm fine. Because I got one from boss boss fight. He's BMing me, dude. You won't find pel better pelts within 100 miles. All right, let's get some. Let's get some pelts. On the house. Okay, so can I afford these ones? No. These ones? No. Just rabbit pelts. I'll get three. Maybe it's a bad idea, but I'm going to take that. Wait, so the map, I can get up right now. So let's get up. Um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was an actual item. I have a plant now. I don't know what to do with it. Okay. 
Uh, oh, hello, there you are. Oh, you talk. The pain is unbearable, even after all these years. What do you want? Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I have very little to live for these days. Ah, you really did it. I knew I had seen stuff come out of that painting. Bring it here. Oh, wait. Do you, you need this? Nice work. You solved the mysterious painting for now. What? The cage has been broken. The wolf statue is free. I believe this is a step towards freeing the master. Am I the master? Watching the angler lose. Now that soothed my pain. My old rival of mine, that fisherman. He bested me this time, but I will have another chance. Okay, he doesn't have anything else to say. Well, he wants me to put the plant here, but it doesn't do anything. Bro, do something. Alright, fine. Oh, yeah, the, look, it is out of his cage. Do you want this? Wait. Look at... Yeah. Ooh. Gib. You finally pried my special dagger from the Paws of Squirrel, though you may wish you hadn't. Okay. Uh, I guess I have a dagger now. Can I stab him? No. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Oh. Whoa, was that? Oh, I feel so dumb. That's been there that entire time. I got a tooth. I got a tooth for my troubles. I remove a card or I can... No, we're, we're always doing the symbol. This is removing a card. But better. Am I your choice? So the magpie lets me search for a card. So if I put down a cheap card, that would be hype. Maybe on the stoat, actually. Yeah, I think it's your time, stoat. He's always wanting to do this. Yeah, all right. I guess he likes power. Salutations. I love you, beetle. Wait. Wait, you're not a beetle. What happened? <laughs> Wait, what happened to you? You're not a beetle. Uh. Okay. You kind of look like a dude. Wait, I can play my boost buck. I don't really care for the cards that move around too much, if I'm being completely honest. I think they're kind of lame. Oh, I maybe should have drawn something that I could actually play. That's okay. Oh, the knife is over here now, by the way. I think he's going to block with the bowman. And then I'm going to die. So let's use this to make me fly. Oh, never mind. It can block flyers. <laughs> oh, what a simple mistake. No, don't kill me. No, it's time for you to perish. Ah, you know, you know what they say? It is what it is. What a silly mistake. Please try to remain alive for just a short while longer. I would like a memento. Okay. Your death card. Let us begin. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Oh, look how OP this grizzly is. Well, I want the cheapest cost. Oh, five bones is kind of rough. I guess the wolf. That's not great. Power and health? Would it actually take this that way i can figure out what it does bell ringer zero power and three health oh 
This is a terrible card. This card is bad. <laughs> it's it's bad, bad. And all of these are kind of bad. I don't know. I guess the ant queen. I don't know. This will be... This will be trash, garbage, supreme. Oh, I can't name it that. All right, trash, garbage. What a bad card. All right, and with that, I think we will be wrapping up the second episode. We did get farther than ever, but this seems to be a good duration. And good stopping point. So if you guys want more, let me know. I do want to complete this game for YouTube. I'm going to try to post regularly. And uh, yeah, hope you all have a good day. And see you guys next time. Bye, buddy.